Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, a few days ago, we built this shop page for a WooCommerce site. Just did a custom little shop page. Nice little shop page there. Somebody had the question, can you add some add to cart buttons to it? You certainly can. The easiest way to do this is to add a little bit of code. So we're gonna turn this shop page from this into this little add to cart button under each of the items there. And you want to be aware this will work with any WordPress theme you like. It doesn't have to be Divi. We're doing it with Divi today and we've built this with the shop module. And be aware if you add this script any page that's got a shop module on it will have the buttons added to it which in my case is not a problem. I haven't got a problem with this at all. So let's get started. Go back to the original. Let's get rid of these. And we'll go down to the dashboard. Now we've got to edit the functions PHP today. And so I would suggest you create a child theme for that. You can skip it if you want and put it in your regular Divi functions PHP, which would be in the theme file editor here. And if we look over to the right, there's our functions PHP up here at the top. But as this is a core file, like I say, I'd suggest you make a Divi child theme. So let's do that. I can do it really quickly. I'm going to use a free plugin. It's called Child Theme Configurator. I'll put this little link below the video. I'm going to go ahead and download it. I'm going to go to my plugins. I'm going to hit the Add New button at the top here. And I'm going to upload a plugin. You can choose file and browse to your download location. I'm going to simply drag mine up here as I've got Google Chrome and it's on the browser itself. I'm going to hit install now. Okay, once installed, we can go down to tools. If we go down there, we'll see child themes. Once you click on, let me get rid of these notices at the top here. Once you click on it, it takes you to this page. You could hit the analyze button just to check if there's any problems with your site. I've got two green check marks there. That means that's absolutely fine. So if we roll down a bit, I'm not going to go through any of the settings. I'm just going to go straight down, leave mine on the defaults and create a new child theme. OK, the theme has been generated successfully. I want to make sure that we check it is working and hasn't broken anything on a site. So let's hit the preview your child theme link right here. That's going to take us to our page here. You can look through your site, make sure everything looks fine. Everything looks absolutely perfect to me here. The way it should. When you're happy, simply hit that activate and publish. Once done, we can get out of here. And if we go back to our themes now, appearance, themes we'll see that the active theme is called Divi child and there's our original Divi here so we're safe to edit the core files on this without any fear of messing up Divi now like I said if you didn't want to do the child theme thing that's fine you can do it in your regular functions PHP but be aware if you do it in the regular Divi functions PHP you want to keep a copy of it the whole PHP file in case something messes up and also just a little copy of the extra bit that you want to add on the end there because once it updates that's going to overwrite that and you'll have to paste it back in there great so we've got our child theme activated let's add our buttons to our site and i'm going to steal another little bit of code here from a site well, i've actually got this from the elegant theme site themselves and again i'll put this link just below the video for you and if you go to that page look down a little bit We've got a bit of PHP code down here. Select the whole thing. Make sure that you get everything. I'm going to copy it. Control C or right click and copy however you like to do it. And we need to paste this in the functions PHP file of the child theme. And don't let that freak you out. It's really easy. We'll go back to our dashboard. I'm going to go down to theme file editor again. And here we are in the child theme. And you may have noticed there's very few things over to the right hand side compared to our major Divi theme. Let's go into the functions PHP. There it is. Just simply left click on it. 
And after the end in queue parent action, I'm going to put my cursor below it and paste in a bit of PHP that we copied. There it is right there. I'm going to go down to the bottom and update the file. And it's telling me the file has been edited successfully. OK, well, let's go back to our shop page now and we'll refresh. There's it before. Let's refresh it now. And roll on down. And there we are. It's added some little buttons under our little products. And like I say, that's going to be on every shop module that you've used if, you, if you've used the Divi theme which is a great thing. Now those look a little generic. They're, they're great. They work and everything like that. Maybe you wanted to style them a little more custom like I had before. Let's select one of these and have a look at it in the Chrome Inspector. Like I said earlier, I'm using Google Chrome with the great inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. And there it is right there. That's our button. If I roll over it, you can see they're selecting at the top. Let's roll that up so you can see a bit better. As I roll over that, you can see it's selecting the buttons. So if you wanted to perhaps customize them, I pushed mine to the middle and I gave them a background color and changed the color of the text. So let's do that again. I'm going to say margin left. I'm going to say 50%. And now I've got to bring them back about half of their real width. So I've got to use a bit of transform translate for that. And all this CSS I'll put down below so you can copy and paste it. If you don't have to follow along as I'm doing it right now, if you don't want to. So I'm going to say transform. And I want it to translate or move. Negative 50%. So it's going to move back by half of its own width. So I'm going to say negative 50%. And that's in the middle there. Fantastic. Well, let's give it a background color. I'm going to make it purple for want of anything else. So background purple. That's great, but I don't want that blue writing. I want the text to be white. So I'm just going to say color. FFF is the CSS3 for white. That's great. And let's give it a little rounded corners, perhaps. I'll do that with border radius. And perhaps 25 pixels, keep them nice and round. That's great. Look, when we hover over though, it's got that little icon that appears and it's breaking it into two lines. Let's make the button itself perhaps a little bit wider. And it will actually have a white border on it because I've made the writing white. So I'm going to take that border away as well. So let's give it a fixed width of perhaps 180 pixels. I'm going to say width 180. PX. That's great, but the text is all over the left. I want it in the middle. So text align. Center. And yeah, I wanted to take that border away, didn't I? So I'm going to add one more line. I'm just clicking at the end of one to add a new line for anybody who didn't realize what I'm doing there. And I'm going to say border none. Great. I think that's all I really want to do to it. Yeah, that icon's fitting in there nicely. They're looking a bit more with our site. Well, I guess I could get one of these colors and be a bit more professional about it. I've got a free color picker up here. Let's make it this color up here. I'm going to copy that hex code. And let's change that purple color to that hex code. Oh, hex codes have a hashtag in front, then the code. There we go, there, that color. Great. Now, of course, just move this up a bit. If I refresh this page, that's all going to go back to how it was, those generic buttons. So I need to publish this code to make it work. To do that, I need to copy what I've written down here from the bottom curly bracket here, all the way up to the beginning of the class name, the dot on the WooCommerce right there. So I'm going to copy that, Control C. I'm going to go to my theme customizer, back to the dashboard, down to appearance and customize. Or you can go down to Divi and Options and you'll find a custom CSS box down there. But I'm going to use the one here in the customizer, additional CSS at the bottom. I'll give it a title. It's a courtesy for anybody that edits the site after you. Forward slash, star star forward slash. In between anything that's in the stars will not be read as code. I'll just say add to cart. 
or a drop down and paste in the code we copied from our browser just now. And there it is right there. Let's publish that. Great. Let's go to our shop page. And here we are. Roll on down. Yep, we got our customs buttons there. One last thing you might like to do, you could change that color on hover for the background of that button. So let's go over here. I'm going to copy this whole class name in the first bracket there. I'm going to drop down and paste it in. And I've got to put a closing curly bracket on the bottom. So I'll put a closing curly bracket in there. When you've got an opening curly bracket, you've always got to have a closing one, as far as I know. And right after button there, with no gap, I'm going to put a colon, no gap after the N, a colon, and the word hover. And now I'm going to set another color for the hover color. So we'll get that background, which is the original. I'll copy that and we'll paste it in here. Now let's get another color. Let's perhaps use this blue up here or green or whatever color that is, aqua. I'm going to copy it. And we'll change that now with this color. And when I hover over, it's going to change to that blue right there. Let's save our changes again. We'll publish the code. This time we'll check it out on the real shop page. Let's go to the shop page here, get rid of the inspector, refresh the page. There we go. And if we roll on down, there's our little buttons. Fantastic. Just what we wanted. And as I mentioned before, it's going to add it to anywhere that you've used the shop module. We're using Divi today. If we go to the home page, you're going to find it here as well. Anywhere I've used a shop module, obviously there. Those are custom. There, there, and here, which is just exactly what we want. So let's go back to the shop. I suppose we better actually add one to the car. Let's select one. This will do. And I'll click it. There we are. It's added to the cart. And you've got a little button there with the option to view your cart. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.